What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is DJ Pochi and welcome back to the second episode of Book 2 of Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. And as I expected, there was a little bug. I didn't get my inventory and my quests up on my screen, but they are here now. So let's get right into it. Hey! You really think you can play your silly games with me? I am still the daughter of the Earl, and by the law of the King, you are my subject. Oh my. Forget what I said about your arrogance. It actually makes you quite pretty. Huh? In the name of my father, you will die for this! Master Richard, don't! Oh no. Stupid boy. Almost as stupid as his sister. I'd rape you if I could. <coughs> but you're not my kind of lass. What's with her? She dead? Leave her. The king has not yet spoken. Wait till your father is an earl proper. Then you can do with her whatever you want. Damn! To hell with it. She's so... Ugly. No one would ever want to take her anyway. Put them with the animals until the king has decided. Oh boy. I think we screwed up. I think William is a bit angry with us. The Pillars of the Earth. Oh, well. Let's see where they put us. Chapter 8. Aliana. Oh, they put us outside. And he's bleeding. And he's sleeping. Loudly. Okay. Let's see. Richard. Richard. Wake up. Okay. He's not waking up. There's... Hammer, chains, are they loose? Okay, doesn't look like it. Uh, horseshoe. It's just out of reach. You, you haven't even tried. It's too high. I'm chained to a post. I can't reach it. If only it was closer. Come on, I need you to wake up. Oh, she said she said something different. Hey. Ali? Ali, my ear. Ah. 
How do you feel? Hot. The wound is boiling your blood. We need to get you someplace dry and cool so you can heal. Ali, they shackled us. I will die here. Yep, Calm you probably down. will. Dumbass. You'll only make things worse. Don't give up. We will get out of here. And what then? We'll find Father. He'll know what to do. I heard them say that he's with the king in Winchester. Then that's where we'll go. Yeah, in jail. You'll see. He'll make things right again. How did you free yourself before? I don't know. When they put me here, they had the shackles fitted to my ankles. But today, I somehow managed to slip through. These three weeks must have made me very determined. Yes. And very thin. What were you thinking, charging William like that? I had to protect you. That was that very was brave. Very brave. Don't make him feel miserable now. I don't know. It was. Father will be proud when you tell him. Don't give don't up. Don't give up. We will get out of here. I don't know. Mm, Richard, throw me that horseshoe. Richard, throw me that horseshoe. It's not hard enough to break the chain. I already tried. I'll You're think dumbass. of something. Just give it to me. Breaking the horseshoe. Breaking the chain with a horseshoe. You dumbass. Okay. And now, can I throw that horseshoe as that hammer? Oh, yeah. And now, can I use a hammer on this chain? Oh, baby! Shh. I'll open yours next. Can you stand? Good. Then wait here. I'll find us a way to get out of here. Let's take his horse. Yes. Good idea. But first we need the weapons Matthew hid for us. Okay. I want our dog as well. Where's my hammer? I need my hammer. Okay. Let's go look for a red scarf. There's the red scarf. I okay. have to say that battle was a bit short for my taste. William Hansman. The knights weren't prepared and the peasants scattered like chicken. What I wouldn't do for a good kill right now. Oh my god, you animals. I found it. Matthew's piece of cloth. Okay. 
There are the weapons. Father's oh, dagger. Let's see if there's someone, something up this wall. Bloody itch. Just can't shake it off. <laughs> Let's talk to Richard first. Try to stay sharp. If he wakes up, shout and run as fast as you can. Do you hear? I will. Remove the saddlebag. Whoa, easy. Easy now. What are you doing? The horse nearly woke the guard. The knot is too tight. Pet it. Careful. He doesn't seem to like that. Why not? Got the settle back loose. Ooh, oh, okay. Feed that to the horse. Oh, you look hungry. Want to eat? Good horse. It's calm now. Try to mount it, Richard. But where do we go? To Winchester, of course. We need to find Father and talk to the king. They must find out what's happening here. Now climb on. It won't eat forever. Now me. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. You there. Stop. We made it! We made it! Uh, let's see. We can only go there. The thought that they could catch up with us urged me to ride onward. It rained relentlessly. After a while, Richard's moaning got weaker, but I did not dare look back, for I feared to see William Hamley right at our heels. I forced the horse to go faster, hoping that my brother would not succumb to his wounds. Okay, to Haystat. We headed toward Winchester. The king would make things right if we explained them to him. He had to. It wasn't long until Richard almost fell off the horse. Touching his forehead, I realized he had a high fever. His mutilated ear was red, hot, and swollen. Okay, where to go the next? sound startled me. From the thicket of the forest emerged a woman. I was ready to draw the dagger that was flush against my forearm. I asked her to give us her name. This was her forest, she said, so we should be the ones introducing ourselves. <laughs> I proclaimed that I was the daughter of the Earl of Shiring, traveling with my brother. I can tell your nobility by your manners. She smiled and revealed in turn that she was the wife of the local verderer. Seeing Richard's ear, she said that he needed help. Luckily, their hut was nearby. She offered us food, oh, shelter, nice. and care.
Uh, take the rest. Trust her. We followed her to the hut that was further than she had led us to believe. There, I helped my brother off the horse and let the woman take the horse's reins. The hut was rather barren, with few furnishings. It was almost as cold as outside, and there was no sign of her husband. Mm. Richard dropped onto one of the creaky stools. The woman lit a fire, which came alive with a crackle and gave out a warming glow. Insist I raised on my voice Richard. and repeated more urgently that if we didn't act right now, Richard might die. At my words, the woman seemed to wake up from her absent-mindedness. I shouldn't have trusted her. Nope, that was a mistake. She nodded towards the fire. There was a sound outside, but she distracted my attention by turning to Richard. She started to explain that to close a wound, one must gently press a hot piece of metal against the flesh. This will stop demons and bad smells from entering the body. The woman's eyes kept darting to the door, so I turned my head to see what it was she was looking for. The moment after I'd turned my head, my own knife was pointing at my face. <gasps> no! She'd noticed the dagger in my sleeve and had yanked it out before I knew what was happening. She apologized. It's a tough world, and it's eat or be eaten. There was another noise outside. He's here, she said. Uh, run, fight, run, fight, run, fight, run. I waited for the moment her eyes were on the door again. Then I dashed towards Richard, but a hand grabbed my wrist. It was too big and rough to be hers. The man threw me aside and I landed hard on the floor. My head spun. He examined us and our weapons and broke into laughter. He stepped closer to reach for Richard's sword, but his wife interrupted. We can't sell that. Everyone would know who that sword belonged to. The man grunted in agreement and turned to leave. Before she followed him, she dropped my dagger. Burn out your brother's wound with this, she said, and disappeared. What did she take? We heard the whinnying of William's horse and the stomping oh. of hoofs from outside. We stood frozen until Richard told me to go and have a look. As I did, the outlaws were long on their way, and our mount with them. The hut probably hadn't belonged to them in the first place. But at least it meant a roof over our heads for the night. The fire was still burning. We had no other choice but to trust the word of the outlaw. The heated dagger trembled in my hands. Do it, Ali, I can take it. Richard tried to sound brave. A horrible hissing sound and the smell of burnt flesh filled the hut when the blade touched his ear. But it seemed to work. For a few hours, I guarded the door while Richard slept. But soon, I fell asleep too. And sleep is something that we need. Okay, let's go to Winchester. We walked for two more days with only brief rests in between, but we finally arrived at the city gates of Winchester. Richard was weak, but at least we were still together, and we were sure that together we would find a way to escape this nightmare. The Pillars of the Earth, so in wind, Chapter 8, Aliana. While facing William, you spoke for yourself. You scolded Richard for attacking William. You successfully escaped Earl's castle. You trusted the woman. You burned Richard's wound out and made it to Winchester. Accept. I accept. And that's chapter one done. Or chapter eight. <laughs> made it they can't harm us anymore can they uh, of after course all, they get laws in place to protect us here right i think so but we shouldn't risk finding out then let's go where are you going to our townhouse of course oh you dumbass
You dumbass. We need to go to the tavern. I should get Richard first. Ali, there's someone here. No, Maybe of course it's, it's not. Do you think so? Well, they must have put him somewhere. Leave. I have Father's a in prison. About this. Come now, before anyone sees us here. Let's go to a tavern. <laughs> now look at that! A cripple with a sword and his beggar girl! <laughs> If you're looking for some privacy, there's a bar just down the street. <laughs> We're looking for a place to rest. Tell you what, you can have my room till I finish my beer. Should be time enough for you, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Why are we leaving? This is childish. Father wouldn't want us to stay in a house with those people. But Ali, they were just fooling around. Right. Let's keep looking. Okay, another tavern or church. South gate. House. Inn. House. East gate. House. Mint. Cathedral. Let's go look at that house. Do you want to knock? Shall I? Hello! Can you offer us a place of shelter for the night? Ali, don't beg. We're in need and we've got nothing to offer. What else? We could work for you! If you help us, we will assist you with your business. Now go away. Thank the Lord. I would never have worked for those lowlings. Don't say that. We will need allies to find oh Father my God. and we won't get any to breath. stand around and insult people. Father would be ashamed. Father would be proud that you want to work. Dumbass. Let me. Yeah. What's in here? I am the son of the Earl Bartholomew of Shiring. Open up. Why should they let us in? Father's not there, Earl. Shh. Someone's coming to the door. Yes. What is it? Anything wrong? Well, there is. We are about to sleep on the street. So, please let us in. Oh, I'm sorry, but we'll be going to bed now. Good night. How dare they? <laughs> They're not bound to us, Richard. We need to find somewhere else. Okay. House. Come on, hurry up. Ali, this is pointless. No, it's not. There must not. be one kind soul in this town. What is it? Oh, uh, good evening. Um, we're sorry to disturb you, but my brother and I have been through a lot and desperately need shelter for tonight. Mm. Please. Wait here. Are you mad? Do not let them in. They're thieves. What did I say? Oh. Let's try again. Let's go, Ali. They're just like everyone else. No, they're not.
<sighs> I had hope for this one. There's a warm corner in the back. You can have a blanket, but there will be nothing to eat. Is your wife all right with this? It doesn't matter. The Lord struck her with a troubled mind. She will accept my decision. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a kind man. Go to sleep, little girl. When I woke up that morning, I was alone. I hoped that Richard had risen early, maybe to go to the castle. I left to search for him right away. And search for him we will in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more Pillars of the Earth. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.